Hey, what's up guys? Gary Dean back here for another edition of the Untold Truth in Detailing. So, I've given you guys a lot of information already, but what I'm trying to do is, as I put it out there for you guys to send re me requests for videos you'd like to see or content that you don't quite know the answer on, or really more than you don't know the answer, uh, what you'd like to see or hear my thoughts and feelings on. And, you know, like I've mentioned to you before, all of my videos are, are they're facts, but based on my experiences. So my angle here is that you're getting information from a guy who's actually lived it and done it. If I haven't experienced a certain situation, I'm not going to put that information up. Um, and realistically, I feel like if you haven't been in a situation and someone asks your opinion of it, if you don't tell them that you've not been in the situation, you're first of all doing them an injustice, but beyond that, you can't thoroughly have, you can't have a factual opinion to lend to them because experience is how you gain an opinion. And so where I'm at right now is I want to talk to you guys about, I mean, this is really a multitude of different things, but it all goes back to basically how often should I wash my car? That's a, that's a huge question right there. And basically you have to really de dig deeper into what, protection you have on the car, what soap you're using, what method, uh, be it a waterless, rinseless, or traditional wash. All of those things play a factor in um, how often you should wash. I mean, beyond that, there's erosion, corrosion, friction. There's the environment that supplies all those elements to the picture. There are lots of factors that, you know, should lead you to your opinion or the definitive answer that you use in everyday life. Now, I can tell you that I have a very unique way that I wash my own personal vehicles. My truck, I have a 2016 uh, Ford F-150 XLT Sport. That truck, I wash every three to four weeks that is it now think about this i have done some google searching and i'm not going to spend all day talking to you about what google says but i'll give you some brief def definitions uh, but what i do want you to do uh, is understand that i'm a firm believer in polymers i believe that that's the best thing going right now i believe that wax is dead there's no real reason to use it i don't think that you get any extra look from it i'm not a big believer in that 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 carnauba glow that people talk about i don't see it i don't get it i don't i don't love it uh most of the shine comes from the polishing process uh and how you refine the clear coat not how the um wax is laid across the paint i i, I personally just don't believe in it um with polymers you can achieve a very similar end result as far as the extra pop if you will but polymers are far easier to apply and remove if you need to um, they are slam full of technology and that's why i only use polymers in my two sealants that i have to protect paint and uh, even even the gel coat bionic banana shield that i have uh, that's actually a super polymer concoction as well and it has a hardening factor uh, that lends itself to sealing in pores and not allowing dirt and grime to get in, which prevents oxidation and that kind of thing when it's maintained and then topped off when it needs to be 
or when it's removed and then reapplied if you believe your protection is wearing thin. So what I would recommend that you do, and I've just gone through it myself, is I Google searched polymer. I read everything that Wikipedia said about it, and it's a lot of good information that will help you to understand polymers better. Now we have coatings, and some of you guys know my opinions on that. I believe that they're overkill for what you need. I believe that if you care about your vehicle and you're you're willing to put any time or effort into it at all, polymers are more than sufficient to get you by with slickness, gloss, um, you know, additional depth and protection. I mean, I, I'm I'm a firm believer. I mean, you can see I've got juice boost right here and vitality shield, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a an education on those two products, um, but. What I want you to understand is when people say to me, how often should I wash my car? Or they say, oh, my sealant isn't lasting or my wax isn't lasting or my coating didn't last or whatever. All of that is based on the maintenance that you put in. It's the effort that you put in that leads to what you get out. So if you're not putting a whole lot of effort in, you're not going to see a huge end result. That's the bottom line. And if you are willing to put in that extra effort, then you will see longevity. You will see a um, you know e extensive time where you maintain slickness and gloss, and where your your paint is beating up, and you can see the protection on there. Now you can wipe your car down with mineral spirits, and it will beat up. So that's not necessarily a definitive way to see if your car has protection on it. It is just something that we all know of. And if you know you didn't wipe your car down with mineral spirits, and it's highly unlikely that someone just walked by your car and wiped your hood down with mineral spirits or something like that, if you know that there's none of that kind of stuff on your car and you know what you put on the car, you can test before you apply something and see how the, the water behavior is versus after. And so if, if after the polymer or the wax or the coating or whatever you put on there has cured and you seek out, you know, the man, manufacturer for whatever you're using for the cure time, after it's properly cured, if you check the water behavior again, then you have a good idea, a good gauge on what it should look like uh, for that protection to be protecting. And then you can, you know, every time it rains or every time you wash, you can check for that water behavior. I mean, shoot a short video of how it acts before you apply it, then shoot a short video after it's cured. Give you a good idea of what you can continue to expect from that particular product. Now, I told you to go check out Polymer on Wikipedia. A huge thing that plays a role in how long a certain, uh, we're gonna talk about polymers specifically. I don't like wax, I'm not a fan of coatings. I like polymers. Polymers are awesome. And like I said, this information um, will go for anything, wax, polymer, or coatings, silica-based, acrylic resins, which are polymers, uh, any of that stuff. Uh, this. This is very pertinent information to understanding how long or how often you should go uh, between washing your vehicle. Now here's the bottom line. Erosion is the first word we're going to talk about. If I Google erosion, it says, in earth science, erosion is the action of surface processes such as water flow or wind that remove soil, rock, or dissolved material from one location on the earth's crust then transport it, then transport it away to another location. How that translate into uh, how that translate translates into detailing is all the stuff that hits your car, and when you wash the soap, if the soap isn't gentle enough not to be removing uh, additional material, the erosion is going to remove the material over time. So as far as the longevity of a wax polymer or a coating, the more you wash it, the more material is going to come off because of erosion. Erosion is also happening when you drive down the street. All that dust 
dirt, debris, the bugs, all that stuff is taking a toll on the vehicle uh, over time. So erosion is a huge part. Uh, again, I would recommend that all of these terms we're talking about today, you look it up for yourself and check it out. So there's erosion, there's corrosion. Google says that corrosion is the process of corroding metal, stone, or other materials. Uh, damage caused by corrosion. Now, um... You can also look into the Wikipedia situation. Wikipedia says corrosion is a natural process which converts a refined metal to a more stable form such as oxide, hydroxide, or sulfide. It is a gradual destruction of materials. Gradual, gradual de destruction of materials by chemical and or electrochemical reaction with their environment. So what that means is that sentence right there, chemical and or electrochemical reaction. It means that all the elements that get added to your car over time between the time you wash it and the time that you're gonna wash it again, all that stuff could have a negative impact uh, and wear away the exterior of the polymer, the wax or the silica based or the acrylic resin, any of that stuff that corrosion is causing damage to the surface uh, and or wearing it down chemically or otherwise to your protection. So we've got erosion, we've got corrosion. Um, the other thing that is basically part of the other two is friction. Google says that friction is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces, fluid layers, and material elements sliding against each other. So that is huge. Friction is probably the leading cause of the degradation of your protection. Every single time you wipe with a wash mitt and use your soap, whenever you wipe across a surface, or, for example, if once you're done with the wash and you wipe the whole vehicle down, that's why when I say, when you, when you've probably seen my other videos on my other channel, when you wipe down a car, you wipe as little as possible to get the most amount of dirt off. You want to get it all off, but you want to just wipe in one motion. Don't wipe and wipe. There's no wax on, wax off. That's a whole lot of friction going on. And friction is going to cause erosion of your protection. And like I just said, friction is the leading cause of the erosion that happens over time from the, the wash process. I prefer to wash monthly. If I get a little antsy, if I got a hot date, if I got you know, want to go and show my truck off or my El Camino or my motorcycle. If I want to do that, then I'll wash sooner. I don't really care. I mean, the way I, I, I do my stuff is, you know, realistically, I'd lay a layer of Vitality Shield down and I top that off monthly when I do my washes with Juice Boost. You don't have to do it that way. Vitality Shield lasts a good long while anyway. It actually has four different polymers in it. Uh, each polymer does a different job. It has a super strong polymer in it, which um, is designed for uh, the, the protective ability. And then the other ones aid in slickness, gloss, uh, and you know also protect. But slickness and gloss is, is really powerful in that product. But as erosion happens over time, if you put a base layer on this much, after 30 days of erosion, you've lost a little bit, and then you know every month there on after, you lose a little, 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 little bit more. Every time you're washing, you lose a little more until you get down to having nothing and having to reapply. Well, that's where, in my system, Juice Boost comes into play. It was specifically designed 
to aid vitality shield. Well, it was designed to do several different things, uh, one of which is topping off the polymer from vitality shield. So that leads me to say that Juice Boost can be used independently by itself, added to the wash to give you some protection, or how I like to use it, I like to use Juice Boost by itself direct to paint uh, as its own base layer of protection. But in my system, if you apply Vitality Shield and you end up with this much Vitality Shield, over the course of a month, this will go away and you've got that much Vitality Shield, applying Juice Boost direct to paint will, give, will take you back to full or more. It will take you back to that same amount or more. The benefit of the Juice Boost is it is a water-based polymer solution, which means there's no solvent in it that's going to remove any of the Vitality Shield, where you'd have to add more to it to get that bigger layer back. Uh, and if you've seen some of my other, other videos, you'll know that most of your wipe-on, let haze, wipe-away sealants are solvent-based. If you go layering those, you are removing most of the layer before it. You're not getting the amount that you think. So you put a layer on that's this thick, you don't get a layer on that's, that's that thick if you put two coats on. If you start with this with one coat, you're knocking most of that off to give you just under what you had to begin with. That's the bottom line. So with my system with Vitality Shield and Juice Boost, if you apply a layer of Vitality Shield and over the course of a month and or two months or three months, as that protection is knocked down on the Vitality Shield from erosion, corrosion, because of the friction, adding a layer of Juice Boost will add that protection back. So basically, you're staying at 100% protection throughout the course of whatever time period you want to go from start the original application to the end of the cycle. It's You can choose that. It could be three months, could be four months, could be six months, could be a year. You decide what the amount of time you want to go with your base layer and just keep adding coats of Juice Boost. It is layerable. 45 minutes to an hour after the first coat, you could apply a second coat. It cures in about 45 minutes. So you could add that up. You won't get all the other polymers. You won't get quite the slickness, quite the gloss, or any of that as the Vitality Shield. And you don't get quite the protection from one coat of Juice Boost that you do from Vitality Shield. That's why I suggest Vitality Shield be your base layer. And then you maintain with Juice Boost. So you have to decide what your term is on how long you let your protection go. But with Juice Boost, you can add layers to replace and top off what has been removed from your washing, from erosion, from corrosion, from the elements, that kind of thing. So friction is the most important problem or issue that we're dealing with right now. So the more you wash, the more material you take off. Not only uh, is the are the elements and the dirt, grime, and all that dust and debris removing some of your uh, layer of protection, but the friction from your washing. Uh, if you're using a soap that's too harsh. Now I can tell you that uh, friction will remove material, but the soap, the perfect soap from DetailJuice.com, my soap, will not degrade the polymer in itself. So rubbing across it over and over again will cause erosion, but it, the soap isn't doing it. It's the friction uh, from you putting pressure on the surface that's removing it. Uh, we have done tests where the soap is not breaking down that polymer. So that's the biggest benefit of a pH neutral ultra um, ultra awesome soap like the perfect soap. I mean, it's got a name like that for a reason. It's really amazing, but I would say that. So uh, keep that in mind. I have obviously uh, um, a bias towards my line. Uh, I created all of it and I use it every day. So it would just make sense that I would preach it to you. But if I didn't think it was superior, we'd work on it till it was, or I'd find something else. That's the bottom line. I wouldn't, uh, you know, my name is more uh, valuable to me. My reputation means more to me than any money I'm gonna make from any of this. So just keep in mind, whether you use my stuff or someone else's stuff, that friction 
erosion and corrosion are the three things that are causing uh, the surface protection or even the surface in general. I mean, over time, clear coat gets knocked down. Uh, I mean, that's the truth. Over time, with, with washing, you are breaking down the surface and eroding surface material from your vehicle, period. That's the bottom line. Um, so how often should I wash my car? It just depends. Uh, you know, sunlight, extreme heat, extreme cold, all of that is causing damage uh, on a microscopic level. Uh, to your your paint surface uh, and and your trim and all that kind of stuff. So, how often you should wash is really up to you. I'm just saying that your protection won't last as long if you wash more often. So, if I hand a bottle of Vitality Shield to someone and say it could last two years if you wash once a month, if I said that to you, and then you took it back to wherever you live and you wash every week, you're not going to see that durability out of it. And I'm telling you this because I've got my own system put together with Vitality Shield, Juice Boost, the Perfect Soap, Infinite Use Detail Juice, and that kind of thing. And every manufacturer has their own system. So you need to get with that manufacturer of the products that you prefer, whether they're mine or someone else's. I mean, I'm giving you all this information now based on my product because that's all I use in my professional detailing business. So check out the manufacturers, you know, what their recommendations are on how often you should wash to maintain that surface uh, or that protection. And I can tell you, if they tell you that friction, erosion, corrosion, and their soap is not gonna break anything down, they are lying to you. It is a lie, it is a marketing play, which is, we all know marketing is, is most of detailing. I mean, that's the bottom line. These products that people have, I mean, there's so much BS and marketing out there. I mean, you, you guys are out there spending all this money because I gotta have this and I gotta have that. You're a hobbyist, you're never gonna make any money. Never gonna be profitable. Never, ever, ever gonna be profitable because you have to have everything. You're wasting your profit on all that bullshit that everybody else is telling you you gotta buy, that your friends are saying, oh my God, this is the latest and greatest. I have to have all this. Well, keep wasting your money while I'm over here making money because I know better than to waste my money on the latest and greatest because it's just not worth it. How much better is it than the, the stuff that you're using? Does it matter? Maybe on paper, but you know what? Paper is worthless in the real world. Those technical specs, the fine print, none of that matters. What matters is what you can do to please that customer to make that money, period. So if you're using someone else's products, that's fine. If you've got a system, that's fine. I'm not saying don't use someone else's products other than mine. What I am saying is pay attention and inquire with the manufacturer everything I'm talking to you about. Talk to them about the friction, the erosion, the corrosion. How safe is their paint on the sealant? If you're using the sealant or wax or uh, coating from that particular manufacturer's line. I can tell you that if you ask questions, you're going to do yourself far more of a favor than if you just go out there and wing it on your own. The manufacturer is there for a reason. Um, they've got systems in place. Um, not all of them are as efficient as mine. And that's the bottom line. Uh, I put systems in place for you to get the absolute most out of the situation. And I'm giving you this information. I give you my cell phone number, 813-846-4406. It's that simple. So now, if you got questions for me, or if you got a request for a video, if you wanna hear my thoughts on something, please let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you love this video. If you hate it, I'm not here for the people who wanna be haters. You can hate all you want, but I'm giving you good, solid information, and I truly have a passion for helping you guys. If I can help you, 
Use my cell phone number. Send me a text message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 813-846-4406. If you don't use it, I can't help you. And I want to help. I love this shit. So, um, ask the questions. Make the requests. Uh, I'll do everything I can to help you in your detailing endeavors. Uh, I hope you guys like this stuff. I'm getting, I'm getting awesome response from it. And I just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you guys who take the time to watch my videos. But this is an important one, guys. Don't believe all of the, the, the ratings and the, the longevity uh, suggestions that come from the manufacturers. Do your own testing. There's no set it and forget it rule on how long something's gonna last. It's gonna last differently in each different environment, each different soap, each different wash term, all of that is gonna change the longevity. And like I said, you can get things to last longer by not washing as much. However, if you want to wash more, and this goes for everybody's stuff, use something to top up that original layer or apply it sooner. That's the bottom line. You guys love this stuff, but you want it to last forever. It's not realistic. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Let's get out of that hobbyist mindset and be business people. I'll shoot another bit video on that. I think that's pretty important too. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe if you have not. Like the video. Please tell all of your friends about this channel. And uh, again, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that take the time out of your day to listen to me babble. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.